Oh no, you'll still hear no. Here's why you'll hear no. First of all, everybody that tells you they have money doesn't necessarily have money. You'll hear every story known to man. That doesn't necessarily mean what they're telling you is the truth. Some of them don't have capital. Some of them had capital, but their back's against the wall. Some of them gave you the meeting because they thought it was the right thing to do. We hear this all the time. People call our office, and what they say is, oh yeah, I've already started looking for investors, and I've already got $300,000. I said, oh, really? You've been given $300,000, you have the money in the bank? Oh, no, no, no. They committed to give me the money. Oh. What's that mean? Well, they told me that they liked my idea and that when I had more things ready, they'd give me money. Okay, everybody will tell you that. The reality is, is until the check gets put in the bank, there is no money. You cannot sell a concept to an angel investor without having the legal paperwork to do so, otherwise you could end up in jail. But when the person says, oh yeah, I'll give you $100,000, that doesn't mean anything. What that means is, yeah, they're interested, and yeah, I'm making you feel all good about yourself, but until that check actually gets deposited and clears, doesn't mean anything. So you got to get the money in the bank. You got to take it all the way to the goal line. Okay? It's not unusual for their, them to put in front of you certain guidelines and restrictions. For example, uh, you know, I'll give you $150,000, but you can't get the money out of the bank until there's more investors. That's not unusual. That's pretty normal stuff. Also, if somebody invests in your concept, it's not unusual for them to introduce you to other people because they don't want to be the only person sitting there. But you, a lot of times, have to ask. It comes back to the asking the girl if she's got a friend that will go out with you. Can you introduce me to other folks? And it is a process. I can tell you this from experience. You can get the funding you need for a restaurant in a few months. You can also get the funding you need for a restaurant in a year, year and a half. Chances are pretty good if you haven't gotten it in two years, you're not going to get it. Okay. A big part of that is you don't know where the yes is going to come from or when. That's why it comes back to the funding culture. You've got to be in that mode of searching for money. It's a full-time gig to do it. It's a process. It takes a ton of time. It takes sending out information, getting meetings, going and meeting with people, talking about your vision. That's what it takes. Now, a lot of times, that's also what gets the person to say, you know what, I'm not going to do this because I don't know how to do that. Well, but it's like anything else. You've got to be in the mode of learning. I think it's a pretty safe bet that if you've never opened a restaurant before, you may think you know how to do that, but chances are pretty good you don't. There's 2,416 items in opening a restaurant. Funding is part of that. There are steps within funding that has to make that happen. But that's usually where we lose people. That's usually where they say, I just, I can't take the no. I can't take hearing no, or for that matter, I can't take asking for the check. I don't know how to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. And what they do is they call us and say, will you do it for us? Yes, we do it for cut clients, yes, we're expensive. First of all, we get paid in advance to do that, a retainer fee. And we're not brokers. So it's not like we broker a deal for you. We introduce you to the right people. You still have to go through your process because they're betting on the horse, you. Not me. They're betting on you. Funding, to me, is a lot of fun. 
because it really shows me the passion that a person has for their concept. If you can't go talk about your concept with passion, pride, intensity, focus, if you can't do that, it's a pretty safe bet that a few weeks after you open, when product delivery doesn't come in and you've got your back up against the wall, that will happen. Or the dishwasher decides not to show. Or a piece of equipment breaks down. If you're not willing to put yourself out of your comfort zone to go chase capital for your concept, you also would not be willing to put yourself out of your comfort zone to work late nights, early mornings, doing jobs and responsibilities that you think you're above. Funding is a critical component. Otherwise, all you have is a great idea. Nothing more. But everybody in every walk of life, not just restaurants, but every walk of life that has built a business has somehow had to deal with funding. In the restaurant sector, there are hundreds of thousands of restaurants across the United States. They all somehow had to get funding. They all had to go out and paint the vision of what they were trying to do. You're going to have to do that. And if you're going to do it, you might as well do it with intensity, passion, drive. That's what it's going to take. Good luck finding something.